Hello everybody, welcome to Season 2 of BBSL. This time we've got 12 players over two groups of six, so there'll be no bye weeks. Um, the draw was done by Elliot and Dimmy G. So they are the groups, as you can see, uh, all streamers that are all really good at Blood Bowl. Uh, so let's have a look at the teams and the groups in depth. So we go first up in Group A, we've got Seabraws. Uh, he has Skaven with a Claw Mighty, not Claw, uh, not Mighty Blow Tackle. He's got Mighty Blow Claw, interesting. Block Roger, Wrestle Strip, and a Guard Gutter. Uh, this time we had more TV, so there's every, all the teams are slightly higher TV than they were in the first season. Kanor is back with his Skaven. He's got a Mighty Blow Tackler this time, and he only had Tackle the first time. Uh, he's got skills on all of his gutters this time. He's given up the Dirty Player, which uh, was ineffective versus my dwarves but you know he got some value from the other games that's interesting Elyod <laughs> with these things he has Morg and Thorg and Deep Root and a chef so this is a crazy 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 halfling team only two skills in the entire team block on both trees so he's gonna have four strength six or seven block players on the team no rerolls it's a pretty crazy team and um, that's a fun fun lineup Dimmy G has gone the champ <laughs> because he calls himself <laughs> has finally qualified for CCL playoffs and he is in BBSL. He's got a tackler, a couple of guarders and skills on the ghouls. It's very quite thin really, the, the 1240 compared to the other teams. Um, but you know, Undead are a monster team so I'm sure it's going to do alright. And then we've got Cruz with humans. He's got a mighty blow tackler. He's got a frenzy on a blitzer there. No skills in his thrower and block and guard on his ogre. Uh, Andy Davo's team is not finished, <laughs> but he sent he sent it into bezel, so it's you know it's all above board. Um, he's got a mighty blow block wolf, I think, and about four guard. Um, so you know it's gonna be it's gonna be a pretty good team when it's all said and done. But yeah, unfortunately, can't see it in there. So that's Group A, and then their first weeks we've got Dimmy G in his Undead versus Andy Dave on his Necromantic. Then we've got Crucifer and his Humans versus Eliod and his Halflings. And we've got a Skaven Mirror between Sea Rose and Canal. So there you go, that should be pretty cool. And then in Group B, we have Rick, who's taken his Augers again, and I, you know, I thought it was a shame that he took Augers the first time, but he, he surprised me, certainly, and a lot of other people with his amazing performance with Augers. JFW are back, he's got a sure hands and two tacklers this time, and it looks pretty amazing, doesn't it? This, this team looks a lot better than the first one, I think. And yeah, this could definitely cause some, some upsets. This is a pretty scary team, actually. And here's Calcium, who has also returned with Underworld this time, going for a bit of fun. Three two heads, two dirty players, a Claw Mighty and a Tackle Mighty, and a Claw Tense Troll. So that's 15 players. It's, it's wild, it's crazy. You might win some games. <laughs> Fatin has now. This is the same same rules as the Blitz Pit Ten Finals, and Fatin has gone the exact same team that K Fog took. So, and he's even called his team Bean Court Stealing, <laughs> and it's just literally entirely stolen from PTK. Uh, there it is, it, and it's a great build, right? Loads of Blodge and Rodge, loads of Dodge, a Leader, Guard, two Blodge Guards, Sidestep, like really stacking the skills of these Blitzers. It is a monster, monster team. And Blodge Step, <laughs> who's Flicky Flack, has exactly the same. This time he's called them Pretty Tame Kevins because he has stolen the team from, <laughs> from Prime Time Kevin or Past Tense K Fog, whatever you want to call him. He's He's got the winning team as well. So they've got two high up uh, Elven Union teams, both have the exact team that won Blitz Pit. And we've got another uh, Underworld team. This time he's going to get Fez Glitch. Uh, he's got a claw mighty block claw, claw ta uh, mighty tackle, sorry. So, you know, you'd kind of expect that from the blitzers. But obviously no guard at all on the team. Uh, that's a big weakness of both underworld teams. Uh, wrestle two heads, interesting. And a dirty player, Gobbo. And then my team is very similar to Cruces, except uh, like exactly the same 
players and rerolls an apple. But uh, I went for like not max guard because I still wanted the mighty blow tackle, but still five guard block on the thrower to protect against elves and you know just having an extra block player is good, isn't it? So yeah, there you go. That's that's that. And then first up, I am playing Rick Reckless. And what I shall do is I shall submit, I shall publish this video when we start the game, so that you can uh, check out twitch.tv slash Jimmy Fantastic, and uh, we will be playing it right now when this goes live on YouTube. And then we've got uh, an underworld mirror between Singolo and Calcium, and a Elven Union mirror between the two Steelers, <laughs> Flicky Flack and Fatin. So there you go. It should be should be good. Um, there we've got a website which is, which is below that has got all of the fixtures and stuff and the tables and everything all linked below and the Discord. So it should all be great. A bit more organised this time than last time, hopefully. And uh, and you know, hopefully we'll have a, a season three as well after this. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.